All right. How's it going? Prop the mic here on, uh, I think we should give the date out. I, I realized last night I haven't been doing that. Uh, so Saturday, February 11th. How are you, sir? Not, you gave the day of the week too, not just the date. We're, we're full service here. Full service show here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm doing well, man. Uh, last night was another fun night of, uh, of basketball, right? Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was uh, very fun. It was, it was cool seeing. Uh, I didn't really get to watch much of Kyrie in his first game, the first game uh, with the Mavs. So last night I was able to uh, watch some of that. That was fun. Uh, yeah, we 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 were able to cash both of our big men on the Cavs. You know, we were a little hesitant about putting both those out, but they they did us right. So that was nice Easily. to see. Easily yeah. too. Yeah. So uh, uh Gabe Vincent made a late push. He, yeah, he had I was no we almost chalking that one up. No rebounds at halftime and then he and then he came up with his three in the second half. Yeah. Uh Tatum, that was great too, because he um it looked like they were just gonna bench him for the fourth quarter and then the Hornets caught up. So a lot of a lot of great um and Aiden. Aiden redeemed himself for us. Yes. So yeah. a lot of great stories. Oh, and Jalen Duren, right? We called it on the show. 17 rebounds and he nailed 17 rebounds. Amazing. So, He's feeling that pressure from Wiseman showing up. You call he, feeling, he watches the show. That's the reality. And he <laughs> knew he needed to deliver. So all right, let's um let's dive into today. We got nine games. Um today's a little bit heavier than a normal Saturday, because I think tomorrow there's only two games because of the Super Bowl. So yeah. um, but yeah, let's let's dive into the and first one. This is by far the most like Back to backs, I've seen all season if that I can remember. Yeah, because probably half of these games would have played tomorrow, and they and they uh, they yeah. moved them forward. Um, yeah. it's kind of silly. Like they should have had a couple more games tomorrow. Like the, the Super Bowl doesn't start until like the evening. But yeah, I know. Whatever. Um, all right, so we got the 76ers at the Nets. Um, we don't have a lot on this because there's not a lot of props out. But the big story here, uh, if it still is a story, is Harden uh, Harden's first game back in Brooklyn since uh, getting traded. So, you know, assuming KD and Kyrie were still here, it probably yes. would have been a, a stronger narrative. But, like, you know, there's not as much uh, uh, hatred. Yeah, the ship, <laughs> like the ship has sailed on this one, I think. It's, a little uh, bit. I, yeah. I, think it, I think it sails after this game. So I think Harden comes back. Wants to make a statement and then yeah. uh, and then moves on. Um, how is he in terms of a matchup versus the Nets? Is he a good good play versus the Nets? Uh, the, hard the, to say, right? It's hard to say with Brooklyn because so different now. Uh, wings had been the best position to target, and they were pretty good defensively, just like Philly is as well. Um, so this is a game to that you know not to play as heavy. I would say, um, yeah. The matchup on the Philly side is. Uh, our combo guards. So I like Dinwiddie here. I didn't see any lines out on him yet, um, but I definitely like him in this spot for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I would just avoid the Nets entirely just because uh, Bridges will probably play his first game today. Cam Johnson, yeah. I think, might play. You just have no idea what that's going to do to the dynamic of the rotation. So yeah. give it a, 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 a game or two. I think if you're going to play anything, um, Harden's points was 20 and a half minus 104. Uh, it's okay value for – it's actually bad for his historicals because he's only hit that, um, I think, in five of ten. Um, mm -hmm. But I like his threes better over two and a half threes at minus 120. His two games uh, against Brooklyn, he had three threes and, last year and five threes this year. So I think if he's, okay. he's going to make some noise, he's going to be shooting a lot of threes. So um, I, I think that's a good play. Okay. All right. And five yep. threes is plus 550 if you want to. Now we're talking about go, language. Go here. for it. Yeah, that's that's more your speed. All right. Next we got uh the Nuggets at the Hornets. Um Hornets are minus eight and a half, which seems low. It seems like the the Nuggets should really kill them. Um, especially on a back to back for uh for the Hornets against the, another tough team. Uh totals two thirty eight. Um let me just say Jokic uh in the previous matchup, I'm sure you saw this, remembered this. His his stat line was ridiculous. 40, 27, and 10. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> right? That's unbelievable. So that was the only player I looked at here because uh it just it felt too good. But uh All right. what, what do you like? So I, I looked into the matchups here. We have uh point guards against the Nuggets. Is uh we've been looking at that. So uh that's Lamello. Um Yeah. And then on the Charlotte side, uh forwards against Charlotte, uh 
an incredible matchup. Um, we saw Aaron Gordon uh, perform really well in the next best, uh, most incredible matchup against forwards uh, two nights ago. Um, so we got one there to look at. And then uh, also combo guards against uh, Charlotte uh, ha- have done really well. That's KCP and Jamal Murray. Um, so uh, we'll get to, I have a feeling you 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 got something on Jokic here. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I think I like LaMelo tonight. Yeah, in this spot, and I like his threes. His just, his volume is just unbelievable. Um, it's three and a half threes minus one fifteen. He's done this in nine of the twelve home games he's played this season. He's done this in six of his last eight games on a back to back. And his last two games against Denver, he had four threes on this season on December eighteenth, and four at the end of last season. Mm. Um, so I like Lamelo. He's going to jack up double digit, well into double digit figures uh, threes. Uh, I like this here in a good matchup. Okay. Uh, you got anybody on the Nuggets? Uh, I do. Uh, okay. One of our faves, Mister KCP. Yeah. Over. This is a weird one though for KCP. Over five and a half rebounds and assists, minus one hundred two. Mm. He's done this in six. His last six of seven on the road. He had nine rebounds and assists in that uh, game against Charlotte on December 18th. He had eight rebounds and assists against Charlotte in Charlotte last season. Okay. Charlotte is 29th in the league in rebounds allowed, 30th in assists allowed, and 30th in shooting guard defense. So all signs point to yes for KCP here. Does he uh, benefit in terms of playing time with uh, Bones Highland moving out? Does that like help him? Uh, I didn't look into that. I mean, it's uh, only been one game, and yeah. Murray didn't play last game, so yeah. it's hard to you know hard to know. But uh, you got to figure out his minutes might go up uh, a little bit, right? He plays pretty good minutes as it is. Right? Yeah, he does. He yeah. he doesn't start right, but he um or yeah, he, he, he no, sometimes starts. Yeah, he sometimes starts. Yeah, yeah. Is he start? Let me, let's see. But he'll usually, oh, regardless of whether he starts or not, he's usually in that finishing. Uh, that close oh, no, I'm wrong. No, he's yeah, he's a he starting start, shooting right? guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, yeah, yeah. So he's, I think he's a thirty-plus minute a game guy. So yeah, he is. Yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. Um, I I just had to keep it simple. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, you know, I like the low the low numbers, mm-hmm. but this is like the complete opposite. Um, Jokic uh, par fifty-one, oh, fifty-one and a <laughs> half. But listen, <laughs> listen. So he had seventy-seven uh, in the last matchup, right? Yeah. Um, but in the Prior two matchups against uh, Charlotte last year, he had fifty five and fifty six. So I think I think there's good value there. Um, I think there's actually maybe better value on his rebound line. Um, his rebound line is insane: fourteen and a half rebounds plus plus one hundred. But again, listen: twenty seven rebounds last last game. He had yeah. nine rebounds in the first quarter. Wow. <laughs> his prior two matchups against uh, Charlotte. Uh, last year he had 21 and 19 rebounds. So, mm. um, and Charlotte just got worse at rebounding, right? They just got rid of the best did they, rebounder. Though? Did they? Well, I yeah, Mark Williams did deliver yesterday, but um, I don't know. Plumley's a Plumley's a force in there. Yeah, I think he, yeah. No, I'm so, with you. I'm with you. I like this play. So I, it's really high. I think of the two, I'll probably just go with rebounds. Um. And I didn't have time to dive into it, but I, w- I would also suggest um, looking into uh, his uh, first quarter um, props as well. I think okay. if, if you have that available to you, I think that's also a good play of late for Jokic. Cause <laughs> Even on the come- road? I know I know Denver at yeah. home. Yeah, d- definitely at home. And uh, that's what I need to look if, mm-hmm. if he's as consistent on the road. I don't think he is, but um, worth looking at in a game like this where could be uh, could be a big uh, lead to start. Yeah, for sure. All right. Yep. All right. Let's move on. We got the Heat at the Magic. Uh, even um, spread. Uh, totals low, two fourteen and a half. So proceed with caution here. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, in terms of overs, what do you like? Uh, so you got Miami on the back to back. Orlando one day rest. Uh, forwards against both uh, teams are where to target. Uh, so I like Ben Caro here. Eighteen and a half points, minus one twenty five. He's done this in 12 of the 16 home games he's played this season. Uh, yeah. And he he just made it at 19 points against Miami uh, a couple weeks ago, January 27th. 
Um, so I like Bancaro here in a good matchup for him. Um, and then on the Miami side, uh, I was on him yesterday. Didn't have a great game. So I'm glad we uh, I'm glad we laid off him for the official picks. But Jimmy Butler. Um, so I like two here. Uh, his points: twenty two and a half points, minus one hundred five. Uh, his last four games on a back to back: twenty seven and twenty four. That was this season. And 27 and 37, that was the end of last season. Uh, yeah. He had 29 in that game against Orlando on January 27th. Um, so I like that. I also like his assists here, four and a half assists. We were on this last week. Uh, great great numbers without Oladipo there. It was 8 out of 10. He just missed it last night. So it's 7 out of 10 now without Oladipo. He had 6 in that game against Orlando on the 27th. Uh, and he's also done this in seven of his last 10 on a back-to-back, averaging six assists on back-to-backs, yeah. his last 10 back-to-backs, yeah. Well, you said he didn't have a good game statistically, but he had a great finish to that game. Do you see that uh, last-second uh, alley-oop? Oh, yeah. To, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with like uh, 0.7 seconds or something. He mm-hmm. caught it, dunked it. Yeah. So so Jimmy continues to deliver in, uh, in the clutch moments. We love Jimmy. We do. He's great. Um, okay, so let me go back to uh, my only play on this was Bancaro, but I actually liked his rebounds. Okay, um, I, I know he's going up against uh, you know competing with Bam for those rebounds, but uh, six and a half rebounds minus one twenty five. Uh, take a look at those at, at his chart. Seven out of seven. Yeah. In, uh, for rebounds, and in the last five games, he's averaging nine rebounds, so he's crushing this. Um, he did only have five against Miami uh, the last time they played. But it looks like in the last uh, week, he's kind of turned it up in terms yeah. of his focus on rebounding. So I'd keep riding that. Um, and I like it, especially in a, uh, a game where the total is 214 points. Yeah, yeah. He had, uh, he had 10 rebounds in, the, in that game against Denver at home two days ago. Yep. I like that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. All right. All right, let's move on. we got the Pacers at the Wizards. Wizards are at home, minus five and a half totals. Nice uh, 234. Um, you got anybody in this game? I do have somebody. So uh, uh, Indiana's on the back-to-back. We spoke about them yesterday. You really could play uh, any position uh, except uh, combo guard. They've been great against. Um, and then on the flip side, Washington's been great uh, at most positions except combo guard. I think they are the best team to, tom- to target combos against. So that's our man Tyrese Halliburton. Um, I like him. I have three different options here. To, I wanted to go over these with you real quick. Yeah. Uh, Halliburton, 19 and a half points, minus 110. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's done this in six of seven on a back-to-back this season, averaging 23 and a half points per game uh, on back-to-backs this season. And his last three games against Washington, 23, 25, 26. Okay. Um, so he's got their number, I'd say. Um but he hasn't – He the thing I'm a little hesitant about since he's come back from injury, he cool. hasn't been getting there. Yeah, yeah. only so, only the first game back against the correct. Lakers. He had 26, but, and then the last three. He's but he averaging. played Cleveland, Miami, and Phoenix in those three games. So keep that in mind. Um, he's playing terrible teams, and now he's playing the best team in the league to target at his position. So keep that in but mind. Sac- looking Sacramento, at too, he played and, and only scored 10 points. So Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I – I loved Halliburton. I did not love his points for today just because he hasn't proven. I mean, you're getting good value um, because he because of his recent performance. But uh, what else do you like? The So uh, I also liked his rebounds and assists, 12.5, mm-hmm. minus 130. He's done this in three out of five since he came back. Um, and like I just said, three, three of those games were against Cleveland, Miami, and Phoenix. He's done this in five out of seven on a back-to-back this season. And he's done this uh, five of the last six times he's played the Wizards, dating back to last season. Yep. Um, and then I, I also his par also uh, he's done it. He's he's cleared thirty two and a half par and five straight against Washington and six of the seven games on a back to back this season he's cleared it in. So he's a guy who uh, seems to do well on these back to backs uh, in in the best matchup on the board at his position today and overall. Interesting. So you you didn't like his assists? Well, I liked it as the rebounds and assists. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, mean I, I could get into his assist too for sure. What'd you say? It was twelve and a half. Mm-hmm. So I would assume that he's going to get two rebounds, maybe three. 
but he's he's kind of like a two rebound kind of guy. Yeah. Um he does he did have he does have a couple with four recently. Um and you look at before the injury he was getting more. So yeah. Um all right. I, I so he's being a little has what were you on his rebound? I mean his assist? N- out of all the plays in this game, that was the one that was popping because it was only nine and a half, right? Yeah. Wasn't wasn't that his assist line? Nine and a half? It is nine and a half. And right, it's, which, it's plus 115. Right, which kind of looked low um, for him. So I would do something around the assist, but I also, I, you know, rebounds and assists is probably good. So hmm. either of those I would play. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, good on this one? Yeah. All right, next one. Ooh, we got a juicy one here. Spurs uh, versus the Hawks at the Hawks. Yep. Um, minus 13 and a half. There's a lot of assumptions built into this uh, into yeah. these lines. Uh, so huge spread. Uh, totals 240. Uh, Spurs are horrendous. Um, but the big story here is uh, DeJounte Murray, uh, his first game against his old team, Yep. And if you saw, he did a recent interview. I forgot who, who was doing the interview, but he did a recent interview, and he was just trashing the Spurs. Basically just said, like, they didn't support him. Like, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't huh. I didn't know he left with, like, ill yeah, feelings, but he is he is angry uh, about how he was treated there. So I could see him really going off tonight. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's uh, match up-wise. You have uh, Spurs on a back-to-back. Uh, against the Spurs, um, like I said, they've been terrible. So uh, bigs are a great target. Combo guards and wings. Uh, your bigs for Atlanta, John Collins, Clint Capella, uh, Onyeka Okongwu. Uh, combo guard is uh, DeJounte Murray. And your wings are uh, Bogdanovich and A.J. Griffin. Uh, and okay. then Atlanta, bigs and forwards are who we can look uh, to target. Um, so that would be Zach Collins for the Spurs. Uh Keta Bates Diop at forward, Doug McDermott, not very exciting names. Um, so what do I got here? Let's just start on uh let's just wait on Murray one second. I got one on Capella, ten and a half rebounds. He's done it. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's uh, good. <laughs> okay. Last six of eight on one day rest at home. Uh he's done in last six of ten overall, last six of ten at home. So not you know, super uh, high hit rates, but you can't deny this matchup here. He's going to get his boards for sure here in this game. Yeah, especially coming off of a 17 rebound game against Phoenix. Yeah, you know, much much bigger uh, threat uh, to go up against. I mean, Zach Collins is good. I told you he was going to be good. He had a big yeah. game last night, but uh, but Clint Capella's got a little bit more experience than than Zach. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm pretty confident about this play. Today. Yeah, good. I like um, that one. All right, and then. Uh, I went with Murray's, uh, you know, while I feel like he probably will have a, a big scoring output in this game, uh, I liked his rebounds and assists. It's 12 and a half, and it was plus 100. Um, he's done it in uh, his last six out of seven overall. Yeah. Uh, six out of 10 at home. Uh, and the Spurs are 22nd in rebounds allowed, dead last in assists allowed. Where were you at on Murray? Uh, well, I mean, we just played that uh, two nights ago, right? Yep. Um, so I do like that play, but I, I just feel like his priority in this game is going to be scoring. Scoring, I think, right. Yeah. I think he's going to try to go for 30 points. So um, so I like Murray, 21 and a half points. It's it's higher than where he normally lands. He's kind of mm-hmm. like an 18, 19 point guy, but uh, with that extra uh, motivation, um, I think he'll be going for that. Um, I also like Trey Young. Uh, ten and a half assists, minus one fifteen. Hmm. Uh, he's done that in seven of his last ten games. And again, if if you play to the narrative, right? Um, I think they're going to be feeding Murray all game to try to like have him have hmm. a big game, which means Trey Young's going to be dishing the ball up on certain shots he would normally shoot. So, <clears throat> all right, um, I like I like you build the story and then you yeah. bet that story. There we go. No, I mean it's a good approach in general. For like, sure, yeah. understand like what direction the game's going to go, and then try to pick your props to uh, align with that. And then yep. if the game goes the other way, whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, I find this a little bit more in. in uh, it's definitely in NBA, but NFL is that. That's that's the the, yeah, the sport yeah. that you got to do that in. Yeah, absolutely. All right, um, moving on. Yep. Okay. 
You got the Jazz at the Knicks. Um, Knicks are minus five and a half at home. Uh, totals two twenty nine. Um, oh, that's weird. Knicks and Nets are both home today. I didn't realize that. Um, you got anybody in this game? Uh, no, you got both teams on a back to back. Utah in flux there, but uh, just to go over matchups, I don't have anything in this game. But matchup wise, against Utah, we could target wings. That's uh, Barrett quickly and Grimes, uh, and combo guards. That's Miles McBride. Uh, against the Knicks, also combo guards, that's Jordan Clarkson, Colin Sexton, and forwards, Laurie Markkinen. I tried to find something on Markkinen in this game. I have a feeling he could have a uh, a nice a nice uh, game here, but uh, I, I couldn't find something I liked enough. All right. I started with uh, with Olenek, actually. Um, mm. Mm. Okay. I think, he, I think he's getting more playing time um, with uh, who left there? Uh, Vanderbilt? Um, yeah. left there. Mm-hmm. But then the back of my mind remembered that uh, Kelly Olenek leads the league in fouls, right? Fouls per game. Okay. So I am not comfortable playing him because I think he's got a good chance of fouling out in a physical game against the, the yeah. Knicks. So, uh, and if you look, there's so many games where he has four or five fouls. So he definitely presses that. And with more minutes, he's going to be at, at more risk. Um, I just went with uh, the hot hand. I, the most consistent player on on the Knicks is Jalen Brunson. Yeah, consistent. And I, I liked. I wanted to play his points, but I think it was up to twenty five and a half. So I went with his assists. Okay, um, five and a half assists. It's a decent scoring game. Two hundred twenty nine total. Uh, minus one fifteen. He's done this in four of his last five games, and he had eight uh, in the game against Utah. So okay, uh, back in November. So I think it's a good play. He's super, you know, we've talked about this on prior pods. Like you want to find players that deliver consistent results, like not nine assists, then two assists, yeah. and eight assists, then three assists. Like you want to find guys who are consistently around the mark. Mm-hmm. He's always there. He's always four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, so I like that. I think you're guaranteed to get four <sighs> to five assists, and I think he'll get that sixth one. So is uh is Josh Hart playing in this game? You know, oh, well, that's a good question. That was his. That was his. His boy. You saw that video when uh, he found out that the Knicks traded for him. Oh, uh, when Brunson did. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it's funny. There there was a uh, 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 Villanova uh, theme, right? Because uh, yeah, and Bridges Br- came back. Bridges as well. So yeah. uh, so three... Br- Bridges. One of them sent out a tweet saying, uh, when "Yeah, are we like when are, dinner? We, when are we getting dinner? <laughs> yeah, I uh, I'm looking at the Knicks. I don't see Hart on the uh, on the injury, so uh, right. that's not starting. But he'll get some minutes, and I'm sure his boy will uh, run some. Will throw him a couple, a yeah. couple assists. So. All right, good, good call. All right, all right. Um, got the Bulls at the Cavs. Cavs minus five. Total is two nineteen and a half. So another another uh, low scoring affair. Which one? Yeah. Uh, which matchups do you like here? So. Uh... Chicago uh, wing uh, wings have been where to target. Um, that's Karis LeVert and uh, Okoro um, for for uh, Cleveland. And then uh, Cleveland's been very good defensively, obviously. But the one position where uh, people have had success is at forward. Um, so that's DeMar DeRozan. And that's who I like in, in this game here. 24 and a half points, minus 105. Uh, he had 44 against Cleveland on January 2nd. Yeah. Uh, he's gone over this in four of his last five and seven of his last 10 on the road. Uh, and if you look at, uh, when he's been on the road with one day rest this season, he's done it in 11 of 17. Um, yeah. So. He had, he didn't have two. his, I think this is the fourth meeting, uh, of the teams. He didn't have a great matchup the first two, but his last one, like you said, he went yeah. off, off yes. the charts. Um, I thought you were going to stick with the big men, uh, with, uh, with Allen again. Um, it's probably, probably could go there. What, uh, let's see. I mean, yeah. I mean, the, the cent the center defense for the bulls is decent, right? It is. So they're middle of the pack. Yeah. They're, they're right at, you know, number 16, 17 here. Um, and they were actually better at the beginning of the season and, and, uh, they've, They've actually been, uh, or whatever, worse at the beginning of the season and, and uh, better defensively against bigs recently. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. Well, you know what's amazing? I was diving into Allen's uh, first quarter statistics. So, okay. his, his line for the game is 14 and a half points. I think there's good value there. Um, coming off of, he's just really hot right now. One, minus 115. His last five games, he's averaging 
uh, 19.8 points. So he's just he's just huh. scorching. It's um, weird. It's sorry. It's weird how Mobley's line didn't come down, but Allen's came down a point from last night. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mobley plays more minutes. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, but listen, listen to this. This is just amazing. I thought like the 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 graph on uh, props cash was wrong. Allen's first quarter, he's had nine. Uh, his his line right now is four and a half points. He, nine out of his last ten games, he's had six points. Wow. And seven of those nine games. He's had mm-hmm. exactly six points, like hmm. consistent. Yeah, game after game after game. Um, last his last two games, he had nine and ten, including the one last night. Interesting. So he he definitely gets off to a hot start. So that's another take on Allen. If you want, mm-hmm. is uh, is go for his first quarter um, over four and a half. Uh, All right, seemed like good I like value that. There. Nice little find. Yeah, and then I think also. Um, Mobley's blocks. Uh, I don't love playing uh, blocks when it's more than one, but just to throw out the stat, two blocks was plus one hundred eight, and he's done that in nine of his last last ten games. Wow! Yeah, so uh, you got plus money on something that's ninety percent hitting right now. Nice. I like All it. Right. He'll be, uh, he'll be. I can see him getting a few blocks on Voos or uh, one of those yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. All right. Um, you good here? Yep. All right. Lakers at the Warriors. Warriors are minus two. I think this is an ABC game, so primetime game. Uh, totals 238.5. I know who you're playing in this game. I just know. I just Do you? Know. I think so. Okay. You've played um, this guy recently, but go ahead. Let's hear the matchups. Okay. Uh, matchup wise against the Lakers, uh, combo guards and wings. Uh, combo is uh, Jordan Poole. Wings are uh, Clay and Dante DiVincenzo um, against Golden State. Uh, point guard is where we can look to target, and that's uh, unfortunately Dennis Schroeder uh, for the Lakers. <laughs> so Don't knock uh, him, man. He had a great game the other day. Yeah. Um, so who do I like? I like Clay. Is that who you thought I was going to be on? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you'd go for his points and assists at twenty. That's what I went for. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minus one twenty. <laughs> yeah. Six, six out of six games without Steph, right? And you, you nailed it. They're not even close either. Like. I think the lowest was 30. Yeah. He's like 30, 32, 33. Yeah. He can and get his this. line is, is his point line is 26 and a half. His right. PA line is 28 and a half. So if, if, if you're out there and you can't play a, uh, a combo line, I'm okay with his 26 and a half points as well, for sure, in this game. Yeah. His assists um, are, are just like the, uh, yeah, the exactly. icing on the cake. The, uh, exactly. <laughs> the points um, are filling it up. Yeah. So he's done this in 10 of 14 at home as well this season. Uh, and he did play the Lakers once last season without Steph, and he had 37 points and assists. Yeah, this is a great yeah. play. We're def- yeah. This one's definitely making the, uh, yeah, for the sure. Twitter board. All and right, then, cool. And then my other one here is uh, this is a very weird to play for this guy because I really only think of him as a scorer. Uh, but I like Jordan Poole, nine and a half rebounds and assists. It's plus 100. He's done okay. it in five straight without Steph. He's done it in four straight on two days rest at home. And the Lakers are 27th in rebounds allowed and 23rd in assists allowed. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 definitely uh, ups his assists um, when Steph's not around. So yeah. I like that. And I, if, if we're predicting a you know, storyline here, if we're predicting a big scoring game from Clay, you know, then uh, I could see Poole getting there this way you know yeah somebody's gotta throw in the ball right exactly all right cool uh um, nobody uh i had i had clay points oh. on assist that was all my right. play as well so we got two two that we lined up on today all right so we'll avoid those ones yeah <laughs> all right we got the mavs at the kings um we'll go through this one quickly kings are minus one and a half uh totals 235 and a half these two teams just played um yep. what was it last night last, yeah, last night. night right yeah um let me just run through the, my only play here. Uh, I just I think Fox is a good play here again. Um, his total was twenty five and a half points minus one twenty two. Uh, he's done this in five of his last six games, including thirty three versus Dallas last night. Wow! Um, so it's literally the same exact matchup. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only the, well, the only big um, question is if if Luca plays. That certainly changes the offensive side of this but I yeah defensively i'm not even sure that that alters anything with fox so yeah um one thing i one thing I, I just wanted to point out so i was watching this game uh last night and uh 
the I was watching the Sacramento broadcast, and uh, the announcers were pointing out that they 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 both agreed that last night was the best defensive game they had ever seen De'Aaron Fox play in his entire career. Wow. Um, yeah. So one thing I'd say is maybe he's a little bit tired in this game um, for, from all that effort he put in last night. So I, that's, that's one thing. Second is can he do that back-to-back? And maybe Kyrie is a play to go back to here, even though he failed us last night. Yeah. Um, maybe he is – maybe, you know, maybe Fox can't do – what he did two nights in a row. So it's pretty it's pretty demoralizing when you play your best defensive game of your career and your team loses. Yeah. <laughs> At home. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh I guess that's it, right? That was yeah. that's the last one, right? You ran um, thirty minutes. Yeah, very good. All right. So lots of uh lots of plays here. We gotta go call through these. Um yeah. I think we'll probably put up, you know, a few on, on Twitter, but Definitely a, a lot of good ones to go with, and definitely remember the narratives we talked about, right? Harden coming back to the Nets, yep, and uh, and Murray coming back uh, uh, playing against the Spurs. So, yep, yep. Good. All right, all right. Nice work. Yep. Enjoy Talk the games. Later. All right, bye.